Hello, this is Dr. Satyendra Kateva. I'm a pediatric hematologist, oncologist, and a bone marrow transplant physician. So today, we are going to talk about Fanconi anemia and how to cure it. So it is really, really important that you understand it very clearly because we at Manipal Hospital Dwarka, New Delhi do it it's slightly different than rest of the centers in our country. Now Fanconi anemia means it's a genetic disorder where one of the problem is bone marrow failure which means the bone marrow inside your bones the blood making cells are dying so slowly your hb your white cells your platelets everything is going down so we call it bone marrow failure so one of the problem of fanconi is bone marrow failure the other problem is that it's a dna repair defect so that when inside your body your cells do not have a capacity to regenerate the stress induced cell damage so that means slowly or the cells which are facing the stress they accumulate and then there will be head and neck cancer different type of myeloid leukemias cervical cancer lot of things are there so please remember whenever your child has fanconi anemia bone marrow failure is just one presentation rest of the problem stands now let us focus at bone marrow failure let us say your child has got bone marrow failure now he needs or she needs a transplant to get it cured yes transplant will certainly cure it because with the donor you put in a normal or at least partly normal cells inside the patient's body and then they make the cells which have better dna repair mechanism than the present system and they fix that bone marrow failure but please remember there are two type of transplant in fanconi and the whole world is still in debate which one is better i think the debate is now over whether it's 10 out of 10 12 out of 10 matched or it's a 50 percent match the most important thing in fanconi anemia transplant are two one is the disease the drugs which we use during transplant should induce minimal toxicity and second the donor cells should not induce graft versus host disease if graft versus host disease happens in any fanconi anemia transplant there is some more than 90 percent chance the child is going to die in next two to three years so it's really important that when we are talking about fanconi anemia transplant we should focus at that minimal toxicity of the drugs which are going to be used in transplant and there should be every attempt that this child do not have or have minimal gvst after transplant that way your child will be a successful transplanter he will be transplanted successfully and later on he will have less problem but still remember all other problems of fanconi are still there even after a successful transplant so that means the chances of head and neck cancer the chances of epithelial cancer the myeloid they are still there but and you do not cure with the transplant with transplant you just cure the bone marrow and in the bone marrow transplant i'll suggest you please talk to your doctor about t cell depleted bone marrow transplant which gives the best result or i should say best possible results and least chance of gvst i hope this will help you thank you very much have a great day